Well, if you'd work hard, you'd have a good job and you'd make lots of money. And, you know, kids today, they're complaining about everything and no one wants to work for anything. And it's ridiculous. I don't know anyone who's like that, who's my age. We're all struggling. We're all working so hard. That's what people don't understand, is we're working so hard for nothing. In order to go to school, I absolutely had to, unfortunately, use OSAP and also have a student line of credit. So I've had that student debt. I started school 13 years ago. I'm 33. I would, I think I'll be paying it until I'm at least 40. I absolutely do not think that there are enough programs in place to help people who are precariously employed. I had no maternity benefits at all. It was hard to relate to a lot of the other moms and women who were off because they still had money coming in and they were able to take that time with their baby. And though I was able to take the time with Stella, I had no income coming in. So when she was about four months old, I did take a show in the fall because, uh, because I just had to have some money coming in. I sat in the back of a theater using a breast pump during a break in rehearsal, making extremely little money, but like it's something, so you have to do it. Your life is always about what your next job is going to be. If you have something lined up, what's coming next, like there's no real stability. I don't really think about having a house anymore because I can't imagine how that would ever be possible. So when we were looking to move, there was one place that we called to look at. It was a basement, as with everything. and. The people that I spoke to on the phone said that we couldn't live in a basement with a baby and like wouldn't show us the place or anything. Yeah, I'd love to not live in a basement with my baby. Here's life and reality, so it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's like there's such a disconnect for people between what they think is happening and what actually is happening. So many single people I know have roommates well into their 30s, which people look down on or maybe have to live with their parents and so everyone you know like there's a lot of stigma with that like who lives with their parents in their 30s well people who really do want to do well but there aren't a lot of options if we're not going to be given a voice then we have to try our hardest to to make one for ourselves and to make space for ourselves and to put it out there so that maybe we can foster some sort of change mm -hmm.